here we are at one of our school's fundraising events for children in need. So why have you grown your moustache for children in need? Well, this, this is Movember, and all men grow moustaches in Movember to raise money. And we're going to have an election later on today, and the losers have to shave their moustaches off. Why do you think children in need is such a worthy cause to give money to? Um, because I think they really need it, like to help them with their surgery or, you know. So, um, have you bought any buns today? Not today, but I did buy a moustache. Who do you, who do you think's going to win the competition between for the moustache? Mr. McDowell, definitely. Yeah. Who do you think? Mr. Black. Who do you think? Mr. Guy. Uh, well, Mrs. Mann, you're looking more like a walrus than a teacher today. Walrus? Are you sure there'll be enough hair to fill the bucket? Well, being the youngest out of the three members of staff that um, grew their moustaches, I'm actually not too disappointed that I don't have enough hair to fill the bucket. And will you miss your moustache? No, I'll not miss my moustache. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Ashley. We're nowhere near. It's nowhere near. Can you do it? I want to just go I want to just shave it off. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you'll be cold without your moustache going home today? Cold already. I hope it doesn't snow for it's all going to sit here now. I'm going to have a white moustache next time. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. In, fir in third place, Mr. Guy with 8.6%. In second place, Mr. Black with... What? What? No way! No way! No way! No way! With seven... With 17.9%. And in first place, Mr. McDowell with 70... With 73.59, no, 0.5% of the results. Oh, so are you putting all your trust in your form class today? Um, I'm putting some trust in my form class, but I'm not sure how many I, I actually trust. As, as many teachers know, you can't trust many of them. Looking a bit red, Mr. McGill. Um, I'm looking a bit red, and I'm slightly worried because um, Mr. Murhead has told me that I have to get a Brillo pad to rub the dye off my face. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's all for a good cause. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>